Welcome to New Orleans Way of Life. Hello everyone. Welcome back for the 100 beaded bracelet challenge number 28. Today I'm going to be doing three bracelets for my great grandnephew Lane. You may see the little otter at the end of my videos all the time that's named after my great grandnephew Lane I get to see him this coming J July for the very first time since he was born I've, I haven't been able to meet him in person yet and I can't wait to give him a great big bear hug He'll be turning four years old come September 11th of this year, 2022. So I've got one bracelet set out here with his name with a little heart and then one for the nickname I've given him of Otter. And because he loves um, Hot Wheels, Monster Trucks. I've made a bracelet or put out a bracelet here with Monster Trucker. So first we'll go ahead and, and take care of the first, uh, this one here, Monster Trucker. Now I'm doing this because he's only four years old. So I'm using a single strand of stretch string. Just in case for some reason it gets hung up on something, it's easier to break. Make sure the direction that everything's going so we don't spell the words backwards. We don't want to do that, do we? Yeah, I can't wait to, to see my family. I haven't seen... Um, many of my family members for 21 years, especially um, Lane's mother, Angelica. I haven't seen her since she was 13 years old, since I moved to New Orleans. The only family members I've seen since I moved here are my, my uh, brother Albert and his wife Jean. They've, uh, they used to live down in, um, in, um, down in the LA area, Los Angeles area in California. They moved up to Oregon to live close to the ocean, a little bit inland, but uh, very close to, to, to the ocean. Um, so I'm excited to, to see their new property because uh, they've got 18 acres in, in the uh, forest right there. Yeah, I love Oregon, and I especially love forests. 
it's going to be interesting for me to get around. <laughs> Seems how I'm in a wheelchair now. But, uh, it'll, it's going to be an experience for me. I get to see my, my niece, his, his children, my niece, and my nephew. And, of course, my grandniece and her husband, which I've never met. But, uh, I venture to say it's going to be an exciting time. You know, a little emotional here about it, but uh, it's all good. <laughs> My grandniece, she sends me videos all the time of her little boy, and uh. I especially like seeing him. He has a uh, motorized tractor that he rides around the backyard. <laughs> at, at three years old. He's not quite four years old yet. And he's driving. As you can probably gather, since I moved to New Orleans, I don't travel much. <laughs> very, very little. So, but, this will be my first time flying since, since I uh, ended up in a wheelchair. So, I'm curious to see what that experience is going to be like. So, there's the first one on string. Now, because he's got small wrists, because he's so little, <laughs> I've uh, measured out to approximately a 5-inch wrist. So... out there Let's start on the next one. Otter. Now I'm using um, wood beads for these last two bracelets here. I uh, picked up uh, these wood wood beads from um, Hobby Lobby, 
I really like, you know, the, the mixture and color and everything on them. And they're nice beads. I think Lane will really like them because they, they live up in Washington. And so they, they, they like to go for walks in the woods and stuff so well, I can't wait to see them all That'd be so much fun. Yeah, Albert and Jean, they have uh, 18 acres of property. They just finished uh, this last year renovating the home on, on the property. It used to be a uh, fish farm run by the, uh, I think it's, uh, it was the state fishing game or something like that used to um, restock rivers and and lakes and stuff up here in Oregon and it had since been retired from um, operation And so they went up there, there was a big barn on the property and they renovated the, the, um, oops, I did a boo boo. They renovated the, um, the building that used to be a, um, like living quarters or, or offices for the operation and um, it's now a beautiful home and they since added chickens to the property they have wild turkeys that come through the property up there. And apparently they've got a bear in the in the uh in the community. <laughs> and it comes to the property and eats apples off the trees. And they've got a great big pond on the property along with a stream that runs through the property. So it'll be real interesting because I, I, like I said, I, I love nature. I used to do a lot of hiking and backpacking when I was much younger. So, I know it'll be nice getting back to nature.
I'm gonna have a a bra uh, um a um video of a haul that I got from the Gem and Beach show that we had here. Problem is my phone decided not to that I shoot the videos with decided that it wasn't going to shoot video that day. I tried and I uh, I messed up. <laughs> so I don't have any video from the show. But I've got um, some wonderful things that I picked up there. Some great deals and everything. And um, they hold those shows four times a year here. So, um, and there's one coming up in July. So there's bracelet number two. Now, now for my little heart. Okay. There we go. Anyway, um, getting back to the bead show thing, I've got, um, they, they hold the, um, the show here four times a year. So, um, with the next show, I'll, I'll uh, make sure that I uh, get video. Um, what happened this last time is forcing me to get to know how to use this uh, new camera that I I picked up for doing the videos so I'm not using it yet because I'm still trying to get used to all the little parts and pieces and and what's because I've never used one of these before it's kind of like a GoPro, but uh, uh, a, a lot less expensive. So we'll see. <laughs> oh. And that way I can, um, I'll be able to get around easier. I'll have both hands to wheel myself around while I'm shooting video then. I won't be holding a, a cell phone in my uh, hand and operating the wheelchair with just one hand. <laughs> Because I'll tell you, I had a heck of a time trying to get around in that gem and bead show. Because they have the little, um, um, I call them speed bumps. But they have the, the uh, um, little bridge plates on the floor that electrical cables are um, covered with so that people don't trip over the electrical cables running across the floors and stuff. But they kept on becoming a problem for me to run around with a cell phone in my hand and trying to wheel around in there. So I think that's what attributed to my cell phone and video situation.
So I just get myself used to using this uh, new camera so that I can just have it um, on a uh, harness on my uh, my chest. And I'll have both hands to get around and stuff. And you know that I haven't shown my face on any of my videos, right? Well, I decided because I'm going to the gym now that uh, I'm going to start doing videos. And I know my ugly mug isn't something nice to see right now, but you know, <laughs> so I'm gonna take you on my workouts to, so you can see my progress and I'm trying to get myself um, trying to get my weight loss down or up. Uh, or I don't know how you ah, my process to get my body in better shape than it, what it is right now I had um, I've always had a um, an issue with my weight ever since I first when I broke my leg back in 79 shattered both bones in the lower leg but more on that story at a later time. So, almost done here. Okay. And there's our three bracelets. Thank you for joining me here today. I know it's been a, a, a short while since I made the last video, but we're still continuing on with this 100 bead bracelet challenge. So, we're going to finish that 100 bracelets one way or another here. Even if I run out of beads. <laughs> but there's no chance of that. I'm such a shopaholic for beads and stuff. So, anyway, thank you for joining me here today. Please be safe and stay healthy and stay tuned for lane thank you if you like our videos hit the like button and if you want to see future videos, hit the subscribe button.
thank you and welcome to New Orleans Way of Life.